Hi, it's Jane here from the Early Years team of Barnet Library Service. I'm going to do a craft activity today, which is fun with fish. Um, we're going to decorate some fish and then go on to make a sea scene with the fish once they've dried. So first of all, we need to cut out our fish. What we need is some thicker paper. Um, I've had a little bit of card here, as you can see, I've cut that out already. But it's easy to use um, card from Weetabix boxes, uh, tea boxes, so that the fish can be all different um, sizes. And I've also collected some shiny papers, sweet papers from the inside of a tea packet, fabric, a um, bit of wool, crayons, I've got a bit of glitter, uh, felt tips. So we've got a, a range of different um, things that we can use to, to decorate our fish. Um, and we'll start by cutting out a, a smaller fish. I've, I've drawn it already. It, obviously it doesn't matter what, what they really look like as long as they have some resemblance to a fish. So we'll just draw one here. So if you're going to make a scene, you might want all different sizes um, and shapes, perhaps. Mine are all the same. Finish there. Now I've got some paint today, and one idea that was I really liked was to use sticks of celery because they have a lovely curvy edge. And I've looked, I've asked all my neighbours if they've got any celery, none of them have, and I don't like celery, so I don't want to buy a whole bag of it, but um, if you like celery, you can use those for printing. And I've got a few other things that I've found that will, will work. There we go, we've got a few fish here. I'm gonna start with the biggest one, and I'm going to do the printing. I've got half a carrot, and I just cut the stalk off some broccoli. And then I found these packaging noodle things. Um, let's try the broccoli. And a carrot. that's a nice shape for making scales. Let me put that to one side for a minute. Grab one of the smaller ones. And yes, this was the tea, a packet of tea. And I thought that would really be, make a lovely decoration for the fish. lovely scaly tail here there if even if you don't have any colored paper you can make your own colored paper or cut colored paper out of magazines and newspapers so we'll make some scales i think for this so you, obviously you can just choose however you want to decorate your fish i've got colored pencils So that sort of idea, just to decorate and obviously we can have some lovely glitter. Oh, what colour am I going to use? I think it's a multicoloured glitter. In fact, I'm going to add it to this one. We'll have it. A 
finished now, I think. Let's use some old sweet wrappers for this one. So there we go, I'll carry on finishing them off. Um, but So you can just use anything. We've, I've got a few bits of coloured lentils here. I thought they might be quite nice to, to add, uh, to give some texture to your fish. And we just need some eyes. Now I've got a little bit of white paper, white card. We'll cut out. Okay, so the fish are all dry now. We just need to make a nice sea background for, for them. So I'm gonna take them all off and put them down there. And if you've got blue paper, obviously that makes life a lot easier, but if you don't, then um, we'll just make a lovely blue background with a bit of sand perhaps, a bit of weed uh, for our fish to swim in. Um, one thing that's quite nice is um, bubble wrap. If, uh, if you've got a really big piece, actually, you can just paint that and put uh, bits of paper and whatever on that to uh, put your fish on that. Um, that looks really lovely. I haven't got enough to do that, so I thought I'd just got a bit of blue paint. I mean, obviously, you don't have to use anything painty if you don't want the mess or you don't have any paint. Um, We'll just now let's have a lovely sandy bottom for the fish. Got some just bits of some old lentils. They look, they're quite nice. And I do have a little bit of sand actually, so ooh, oh dear. any old bits of coloured blue paper that you can find anywhere. Again, I've got most of this out of a magazine. colouring. Okay, now I think it's time to stick our fish on to our new background, so let, let's do that. Right, so there we go. It was a lovely fishy scene. I think I might add a little bit of weed to my picture here as well.
we go. So what's nice about this project is that you can use stuff that you've just got lying around the house, bit of string, lentils, tin foil, paper and card. So I hope you enjoyed making your fishy scene. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.